Good morning, guys. I right, we're all sparkly. A guy emailed yesterday and gave a very good summary of his symptoms, bloods, and he ended with, I've done my research and I think I need 300 milligrams a week. Really? Yeah, no. You don't need 300 milligrams a week. Your dose will be carefully titrated according to effect, but your starting dose will not be 300 milligrams a week. I don't have anybody on 300 milligrams a week. That will 100% cause super physiological levels and that can be harmful to your health. Can you feel great? Uh, yeah, you can, but only temporarily. What's gonna happen? My testosterone's gonna go high. My dopamine's gonna go high. My estrogen's gonna go high, which means my serotonin's gonna go high, and I am gonna feel spectacular. Oh, if only. Obviously, our bodies need what? Balance and stability. Anabolic, catabolic, parasympathetic, sympathetic. How many times? Yeah, but I feel great. There's a reason why steroid users only do 12 week cycles. Because the insult of the anabolic hormones on your body is not good. Yeah, it might allow you to grow muscles. It might allow you to feel superhuman. But unless you're superhuman, that altered reality is not good. Now, we've spoken about this before. Testosterone, drive and determination. Estrogen, empathy, insight, understanding. DHT, aggression and libido. But you need the right amount of each hormone and balance that against your catabolic hormones and neurotransmitters for long-term well-being. And that's what we're after. Surely we understand. So how can you need 300 milligrams to achieve normal levels. Well, if you measure levels in a trough, you could actually have normal levels with 300 milligrams of testosterone a week. How? I'll tell you. Because you might have super low SHBG, which means the, the testosterone is metabolized ever so quickly. And by the time you test your levels before your next injection, you could have healthy hormone levels, but they won't be healthy before. So they will be high and it's likely that you will suffer negative consequences as a result of having high testosterone, high blood pressure, high hematocrit, lipid dysregulation, thinking you're better than you are. That hormonal dysregulation is not good. So the reference range, I'm in the reference range, but your injection frequency is incorrect. As we've said numerous times before, the best way of achieving stable male androgen levels is what? Microdosing. Microdosing daily injections of testosterone sipinate plus or minus HCG to do what? Normalize physiology. Said it before and I'll say it again. You are designed to fight and fornicate. So don't dysregulate physiology. Dysregulating physiology has probably got you here. So let's learn eventually. <sighs> Isn't it mental? Well, it's all quite simple, really. The reference range. I'm in the reference range. 
but why don't I feel spectacular? The levels are not probably right for you. My perfect levels will not be the same as your perfect levels. My requirements, my utilisation will be different. So your dose does have to be carefully titrated according to effect. I only feel good above the reference range. Well, you might be an outlier. There seem to be an awful lot of outliers on certain Facebook groups. Mmm, I feel amazing. Most people that feel amazing are cracking on with life. They are not posting about feeling amazing on Facebook. And then their next post is, how do you deal with anxiety? I'll tell you how you deal with anxiety. <laughs> you have normal levels. Anabolic, catabolic, sympathetic, parasympathetic. Are you starting to get it? <laughs> Bozos. There are lots and lots of bozos on the internet. It is, after all, unregulated. And I could tell you what you want me to tell you. But, as I said before, time and time again, earn your reward. Some of you might realise what I'm trying to do in this video is use all of my catchphrases. Because... One of my guys has Dr. Stevens bingo. Apparently, I'm known for repeating myself. Shock horror. <laughs> the message has to be repeated. The message is always the same, just in a very slightly different tact. It's flooding. It's gonna get, it's gonna get there eventually. It's going to seep into that brain of yours and go, oh, he was right, wasn't he? Of course he was right. It's common sense. So, superphysiological intervals. That word is really hard to say. How much is too much? It can't be enough. I must want more. I need more to feel good. If you have super physiological levels and you have negative consequences as a result of those high levels, it is likely that something else is going on. Now, when you have low testosterone, the automatic assumption is testosterone will cure life. It will bring about world peace. It will cure COVID. Or oh, not that word. Let's not talk about that. However... It is merely a foundation. Another one. It is merely a building block for you to work out what is going on. Your high hematocrit. It might be as a result of obstructive sleep apnea, hemochromatosis, smoking, COPD, dehydration. Your abnormal lipid profile might be because... You're not eating the right foods. I tend to advocate as a generality, low carb, high fat, paleo, Mediterranean style diets. Now, if after you've looked at all of these things, all of the possible causes for your lipid dysregulation, your high blood pressure, well, your protocol is likely too aggressive. Rather than just simply upping the dose or lowering the dose because oh, I don't want to do that because, oh, you know, I'm feeling wonderful. Everything you do should be considered. And whilst it's lovely to think that just upping your dose is going to cure all of your problems, the reality is it's not. And whilst I am a TRT doctor, and I want you all on TRT because oh, it's loads of money for me. We turn so many people away because it's not in their best interests. Look at your vitamin D, look at your exercise, look at your sleep. 
All of these things need to be addressed to feel the benefits of TRT. So don't go on TRT thinking you no longer have to look at your alcohol consumption, look at your sleep, look at your training, all of these things that we bang on about all the time. Because really, to feel the benefits of TRT, you need to address all of these parameters. You can't simply whack up the dose to cure life. It doesn't work like that. And how disappointing would that actually be? If you didn't really have to work at achieving a reward, it would be dull, wouldn't it? So, glass half empty, glass half full. Low testosterone, glass half empty. High testosterone, glass half full. We don't want to be glass half full all the time because we want objectivity. By the very nature of our consciousness, it is a subjective appreciation. But we want to have that ability to see glass half empty and glass half full and choose glass half full. Earn your reward, guys.